everybody. Welcome to Resin Nut. Hey, thanks for coming in today. I just wanted to share with you ahead of time what we're making today. I came up with this idea kind of um, after I already started the video to do it a different way. I got the idea to create my own fish bowl out of resin and then to fill that fish bowl with the fish and the rocks and things. And anyway, it was just so much fun. I learned a lot by this one. I'm excited to try it again and maybe improve it as I go the next time. But it is just the cutest thing and I'm so glad that I gave it a try. I hope that you enjoy the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to Rosa Nut. Today I'm gonna to be using one of my orb um, kind of bubble ball molds that um, are super flexible. They're easy to stretch the top and get things in and out of. And I've got just a little bit of resin here that I'm gonna pour in. And we are going to be making a, um, uh, hopefully a little goldfish bowl. And hopefully this turns out super cute. And we're gonna have to kind of make it upside down because it kind of goes this way, I think. Actually, that gives me another idea. Hold on, just a second here. Actually gives me an idea. This has got some pink on the inside of it, but I don't think that'll matter. I'm wondering if I pour a little bit of resin in here, just a bit. I'm wondering what would happen if I try to make a bowl by putting two bubbles in there together. I'm gonna try to kind of clean the sides off of this one really quick. I'm not sure this is gonna work. I'm never sure, <laughs> but it's still fun trying. So let me get a paper towel and dry the alcohol off of that. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm kind of changing what I was gonna do, but that's part of the fun. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna Push this one together and stick it in here because like I said this is really flexible and stretch it out it's kind of hard with my gloves on but actually easier I spray this down a bit I just dried it off but this part will be okay get it down inside of here oh yeah that goes in there a lot easier there we go let me see if we can make ourselves a a little bowl, a little fish bubble, I mean a little, it, let's see, it's gotta be centered just right. And then I need to like pour this down over the side of it without it going inside. Oops, I'm going down the wrong side, aren't I? I didn't think this through very well because this was a last minute idea. But there we go. Got it going the right way now. I don't know if you can see this or not. Then once we get this in there, I think, whoops, whoopsie. Then I can kind of straighten this out a little. Actually, you know what? I might have to put a little resin in here to weight it down a bit. And actually that is not a bad idea either. Okay, the stick. Sorry, this is kind of messy, guys. My resin's getting super hot. And it was kind of a last minute idea. I'll get this cleaned up real quick. Okay, so here is this. Now I'm gonna try to straighten out my, my little bowl, a little bubble ball here. Try to get it kind of centered. Let's see, I'm not really sure how I would do that, how I would keep it centered. Putting a little resin in the bottom definitely helped. Definitely helped it um, weight it down a bit. So I'm gonna lift this up here and see if I can show you what I've done. You see what we've done here? There's resin here going up the sides. So I'm hoping that this will cure um, I'm gonna let this cure like this and then 
Let's see if that looks pretty centered. I think that looks pretty centered. Maybe. <laughs> um, maybe. And then when this cures, we'll go in and we'll pour more up the sides. Keep cleaning my gloves, and then as soon as I touch this bowl, it's all sticky again. It's mold, I mean, keep calling it a bowl. But hey, I think I found my sticky part. I'm gonna just pour a little bit of alcohol, spray some bit in here. Okay. And all right, you guys, I think this is all I'm gonna do for this step, okay? Gosh, this could actually work. I'm kind of excited to see what's gonna happen. So my idea is, now that we've got that going, because I kind of changed it here last minute, but um, I've got these little really cute little bright colored goldfish. They come in a couple different sizes. One's a little bit bigger than the other. There's some little ones here too, if you can see the small ones, but um, anyway, there's just these couple little sizes and I thought it'd be really cute to take these and make a little goldfish bowl. So anyway, that's what I'm going to attempt to do. And I was just going to bury them in the resin um, and make a solid bowl. But now I'm thinking it would be fun to make our own little goldfish bowl and then maybe put them inside with that and put a little resin. So anyway, just kind of trying this out to see what happens. And when this is cured, I'm gonna come back and pour more resin. I'll probably go all the way up to wherever the line is that I want it to be on this, okay? So here we are again, about, you can see it's about halfway, and I can feel the resin getting hot in there. So that's good, should set up soon, and then I don't have to worry about this little inner mold sliding around. Okay. All right, you guys, well, this is fun and I'm excited to see what happens. I'll see you when this is cured. I've got a little bit of resin here. I don't know, about another 70 milliliters and it's getting kind of warm. The bubbles are pretty much gone out of it. So I'm going to spray a bit of alcohol just around the edges here to catch, hopefully some of them as they go down. Let's see if I can get this. Um, See if I can get this resin to go down the side and not inside. Kind of pour it slow. I'm using my craft stick here as a little guide. It's kind of sliding down. I'm gonna try, to, oops, in what, uh, something I didn't want it to go in. It looked like a piece of glitter. Well, I'll get it out of there if I can. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Oops. But I do need to worry about that right now. Went down the wrong side. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Give it a second here to kind of level out. And I do want it a little taller than that. I don't want it to be just a half bowl. I do want it to kind of come up the sides. It just doesn't have to come to the very top. And I do want it to be clear. So I don't see that we're getting any bubbles, which is good. I'm gonna have to, I'm having to pour kind of slow so that so that it continues to slide down the blue stick here and not into the middle mold. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use all of, I think all of this resin that I've got here made up. Let's see, so just as deep on the other side see here. Wow, you guys, I'm excited about this. I don't see any, at least right now, I don't see any bubbles. And it's kind of self-leveling, so that's good. And I'm going to continue to go down. Let's 
it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing from this angle. I don't think it would help me to put my craft stick on this side. I don't think. Let's see. Guess I could give it a try. Let's see if I can go down this way. Can you still can you guys see what I'm doing? Hopefully. Okay. So, here you go. Can you see the top of the, the line for the resins right here? And it's about, gosh, I don't know if I can, let me see here. I have to take you off. I'll take you off the stand and show you a little closer, okay? Let me get rid of these sticky gloves. All right, I'll be right there. Okay, here it is, and you can see how high it is right there. There's the line. And here's our little second mold inside of there. And the only resin that's in there is what I put in there a little while ago to help weight it down. Okay? But yeah, I'm excited about this. I've always wanted to try something like this, so we'll see if it works. All right, you guys. I will see you tomorrow to take this out of here Hopefully, hopefully we can get it out. I'm probably going to have to wait for it to cure completely so that I don't bend it trying to get it out of there. Um, but then, after we get that done, then we can go ahead with our project. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Hello, everybody. Okay, I'm back. This has completely cured. It's the next morning, so I'm so excited to take this out and see if it even worked at all. So I think the first thing I need to do is take out the center, this little center mold here. And gosh, it's just coming, coming right off of there, no problem. But let me see, how am I gonna squeeze this through that hole the way I had it? As you can see here, it just comes, it's coming, coming apart from the sides really easily. I did have to spray some spray in there to get it in, I feel like. I wanted to do the same thing to get it back out. These are so flexible, these little molds, but... <laughs> uh, okay. I didn't really think this part through. Maybe I take this one off first because I feel like it's this round thing here that's kind of getting in my way. So try that. Okay. Let's see if this one will come off a bit easier. I think this will. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, there we go. There's that. Oh my gosh, I can see kind of the shape of our little fish bowl. I just hope that it stays, you know, that it looks really clear and um, that we did a good job that way. Because we, you know, actually, if you think about it, we did pour the resin in really slowly. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and snip some of this stuff off really quick. There's only a couple little pieces here that look like they kind of went over. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, here we go, guys. Now, oh, I see my, oh, my resin kind of went in this way. Sorry this off of there so I can get this out. I can kind of learn what I need to do differently. I chew this again. Okay, so so far this is what we have with the inner ball still in there, or the inner mold I mean. We did get some, uh, put some alcohol in there. Oh, there we go. We just needed it to, the seal to break loose from the bottom. So now we can get this here. 
I don't want to tear it, bringing it out of this part of the mold. Oh gosh, there we go. Ah, oh my gosh, look at this. It worked, you guys. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? Oh my gosh, that is almost exactly what I had pictured in my mind. So I would call that a success. How cute. Oh my gosh, it looks just like a fishbowl. <laughs> oh, fun. Okay, so now I'm going to just clean up my edges a little bit just with like my scissors and things. And then, oh my gosh, that is just too cute. I just can't stop looking at it. Seriously, it's the cutest thing ever. So, okay, I'm going to, um, like I said, I'm going to clean it up real quick. And then I'm going to come back and we will, we will finish our project with our little fish and things. Okay. All right. See you then. Hello everyone. I'm back to work on our little fish bowl. So, you know, I can't get enough of this little fish bowl. I am just so thrilled with the way this turned out. Uh, one of the things is, is because I was using the round mold, the bottom of this was completely round. Okay. So I took a couple of my little rubber bumper um, self-adhesive feet and put them, just stuck them on there. I didn't glue them or anything. And now it stands up, whoops, <laughs> and now it just stands up perfectly, um, perfectly flat, pretty sturdy. Well, now it stands up perfectly flat and no problems with that. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know. Another thing is, is when I demolded this, I had a couple of over... Um, kind of over edges here and what I did is I took my scissors and I tried just to trim around it that was a mistake can you see why here uh, the pressure from my scissors trying to go around this circle cracked some of my resin yeah I was kind of disappointed that I did that what I need to do is just have like a little bit of sandpaper but I don't have any right now um, I should have tried like maybe a nail file or something but anyway didn't do that, so I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna go ahead and make my fish bowl, and then what I decided to do is when I'm all done, I'm just gonna come back and put a, um, if you can see there's a little rim around here. Can you see this on the, on the little edge? So I'm just gonna come in and dome the top of my bowl, and that should make all of these little cracks just disappear. Okay, I'll probably uh, get rid of anything that's kind of loose on there, but I think I've already done that. Cleaned our little bowl. What do you think? Is this just too cute, right? Okay, so I've mixed up some resin, and what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to get my rocks ready. And I'm not sure how many I want in there. I've decided this isn't gonna be, oh, I had a few little things out, but I kind of want this to be a simple fishbowl. I think it would actually, you know, how sometimes less is more. I'm kind of thinking that might be true with this fishbowl. Um, I might add a little bit of green, just a couple little sprigs of green vine in there, and that's probably about it. Um, so yeah, so I really want the fish itself to kind of shine through. So I'm going to see about how many rocks I want in there. And I'm just using these white polished pebble rocks, and these came from either Michael's or Hobby Lobby, one of the two. So, uh, I don't know, what do you think? Can't really see, there's a bit in there. That might be about right. And then I'm gonna have to decide if I want two fish. I'm using these little gold, two different sizes of goldfish that I got on Amazon. I do have all kinds of little fish molds here and I could have just made my own, but, um, but I thought these were so cute that I went ahead and ordered a box that comes with, I don't know, 50 <laughs> or something. So anyway, I decided that I would go ahead and try these and it may just be one fish in there. Like I said, I'm still not sure. Not sure how I'm going to want that. Might be too busy with two fish, but so anyway, I just kind of wanted to measure out the rocks first because I'm going to mix it with resin before I put it back in there. Let me see. Probably not too much rock, right? I don't want to get carried away. That might be a bit too much. Hmm. Well, that might be better. Okay, so 
I'm going to go ahead and just put this down here in my little bowl here. Got a couple stuck. There we go. And I'm going to mix just a bit of resin in here just to kind of coat my rocks. go. Let's see here. Get one of my towels. Okay, I've got all kinds of bubbles in there. But you know, it is a fish bowl, so I don't really care too much about the bubbles. All right. So, one of the things I'm going to need to do when I'm pouring this in here is I'm really going to try to just pour straight down the center and not have it um, kind of start sticking to the sides. So I'm going to try this, turn it this way so you guys can see what I'm doing. I can kind of tell kind of more how my rocks are going to be since I've got the resin mixed with it, how they're going to lay in here. my gosh, I'm just so <laughs> kind of intrigued by this little fish bowl. I have a feeling I'll be making many, many fish bowls. Okay, let's see. This would be a really cute thing. If you do craft fairs or something like that and you're looking for new, something new, this I feel like could be super cute. What a cute little paperweight for somebody's desk or just to sit maybe on your, um, like on your kitchen windowsill or something. Okay, so that went pretty well. Looks like it's kind of laying in there. Not the way we'd want it. Can you see? See in there the, actually I'm get my light on there. I can really see it better. Okay, so there they are. Now, is that laying flat? I think it is. Okay, spray a bit in here. Okay, so that's looking like it's doing okay. So now what I'm gonna do is since I want just a little bit of green in there, I'm gonna take some of my big ball of ivy twine. Okay, it's like a satiny, silky ball of twine that I um, actually bought this on Amazon for exactly these kind of reasons. I make all kinds of little ocean and, and um, water scenes. And this stuff works really well. So I'm going to make it longer than what I need. And let's see, I think I'm going to do, do I want just like two in there? Let's see, I'm going to start it with two. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stick it down into my resin. And I'm going to do it towards the you know, one side of this so that I've still got room for my fish. Okay, and then I'm gonna just let it stand up in there and it's gonna hold its own, it's gonna hold its own self up. And then the other one, oh, this one's kind of twisted. Do I care? Well, that might give it a little bit more of an effect in there if it is kind of twisted, I guess. I have this one go down in here. I want it buried down in the rocks, but I don't want it laying down. I need to get a rock, maybe stick a rock back there behind it. There we go. Okay, I'm still being careful not to get a bunch of resin on the side of my bowl. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this, let these two little ivies um, stand up in there. And then when this is all, when that part's cured, then I can go in and snip it off, okay? at the height I want. But I think, I think just two is all I want. Try to remember, keep it simple. Okay, so I'm gonna use for my twine, or my ribbon I guess it is. And so I don't think I'm gonna put anything in there on the bottom of the bowl. I mean any, 
I don't think it needs anything like this in there, does it? No. Maybe I'll take my take my tweezers and I'll stick this in there and I can see what it would look like. It might just be too much. Oh, unless maybe I buried it. Gosh, once I stick it in there, it's not coming back out. So it would just make a mess. Gosh, you guys, I don't know. I don't know if I want it in there or not. Here's also a little life preserver, but I think that's not going to go in there. You know what? Nope, I'm not going to put the anchor. I said in the beginning I wanted to keep it simple, so that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let this go ahead and cure at this point, and um, then I will come back in and add a bit more resin. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll add a bit more resin now, now that I think about it, because it's not very thick. It's not very, I mean, it's not very, I don't have very much in there as far as like height goes. And the more I can get in there now and have it cure correctly, then the less layers I'll have to do. So let's see, I've got a few bubbles in there, but not many. I don't mind, you know, like we said in a fish bowl, there's supposed to be some bubbles. Is there less in this big? Let's see. Yep. I might let this set another couple minutes before I pour in the next layer. All right, I'll be back, you guys, as soon as these, the rest of these little bubbles kind of rise up. And I'll see you then. Okay, so I pretty much have no more bubbles left in this resin. So I'm going to bring my little fish bowl back over. I don't want want sticky hands touching it so okay so I'm gonna go ahead and pour this kind of slowly in there actually maybe one little spray of alcohol in there before I pour it Let's see how we can do with this here I kind of feel like for my first one that I just kind of want to do one fish you know just so we can kind of see how it's gonna look I do have some bubbles in there I can see So I'm gonna let this sit just for a second um, for it to thicken up and then I will place my fish. Gosh, it's hard not to wanna touch the sides with my sticky gloves, but I gotta remember we want a clear fish bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna let it cure and then I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, everybody, um, the resin is kind of hard. <laughs> it's still, I can still stab it with the pointy end of the stick, but it's definitely hard enough to where it's time to put our goldfish in. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place him, let's see, which way is he going to go? Do I want him to face this way or this way? I feel like he needs to go this way because his tail, the way his tail is. So I'm going to go ahead and stick him in here. Oh my gosh, he looks so cute. Okay, what do you think? Can you see this? So cute, super, super cute. Okay, and so since the resin is firm enough and my resin looks like it has no bubbles, I'm going to go ahead and pour this resin in. It's starting to get pretty warm. I poured just, I sprayed a bit of alcohol in there but I'm gonna just pour this really slow down over here on this side and cover my fish. It's so cute. Okay, well, we've gotta make up a bit more anyway because I need to, I wanted to dome the top I'm going to scooch him, make sure he's in there all the way. He's up there. Okay. So I'm going to take you off the stand and let you see how this is looking. Oh, gosh. So cute. So here it is. 
<laughs> and you can see him in there. How cute is this? It is just turning out super, super cute. You can see down in there. He's, we've got just a tiny bit, see here, of the top of him sticking up. So I've got to make up just enough resin um, to cover him up. And then we will snip off the, the um, our little greenery there. What do you think? All right, you guys. I'm going to probably spray a bit more alcohol, just maybe one more time, and then super quick with the heat gun since this is not a mold and it's resin. But I will go over it really quickly like that. All right. I'll see you here soon. Everyone, we're back to um, kind of finish off our little fish bowl here and so I'm going to just pour some clear resin into one of my disposable cups and I've got pretty clear looks like pretty clear resin with no bubbles so the first thing I'm going to do before we um, finish off the top of this little fish here is I'm going to um, go ahead and snip off our green, our, our green stuff here. Fold down a bit under our bowl. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pour this and let it cover the top of this little goldfish here. All right, so now I'm going to. Um, Spray this with just a bit of alcohol spray. Okay, that looks pretty good. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so cute. Okay, now I'm going to pour really slowly around the edge to see if we can get our, our little doming rim going on here. And it's going to have to pour really, really slow. So I don't want it to go too far. So I'm going to just take a little bit of this. And see if I can just do it enough to do my little dome. Kind of give it a nice edge. Oops, I don't want it going down the side like that. Okay, I don't see it going over anywhere else. All right. So this should take care of any of those things that looked like cracks in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spray kind of from back here my alcohol from afar. Okay, and then I'm gonna let this cure and this is gonna be done. My gosh, it's so cute. I'm excited to show you guys when this is all done. See how, how it looks, but I'll take you off the um, camera stand here and show you. All right, you guys, here's our cute little fish bowl. There he is. There he is in the water. And there's our doming um, work that we've got going on. It's not cured yet, so uh, it's not all nice and smooth, but it will be when it's all done. And anyway, I think it turned out so cute. All right, I'll check back with you guys tomorrow. See you then. All right, you guys, it's all done. We did it. Thanks for bearing with me. Thanks for bearing with me with the rambling and with my new ideas. I feel like I'm always kind of changing it up in halfway through my video or right at the beginning of my video or whatever it is. But, um, but this is so cute. I'm so glad that we decided to go ahead and try the bowl. For our first attempt, I think it turned out pretty darn cute. And I hope that you guys had fun and that you enjoyed it. Um, the top of our rim here where we did the doming, it's all cured and it's pretty smooth. There's probably just a bit enough of a rim left if I wanted to come in and dome it again, I probably could. I've got still a little bit of a rough spot right here from my um, scissoring job. And I could take a little sandpaper and smooth that out if I want to, but I, you know, don't even know that I'm gonna do that. I just love him kind of the way he is and uh gosh this was so much fun so thank you so much for joining me you guys and i will see you next time 
Um, don't forget to like the video and let me know if you decide to try one of these. I really would like to hear from you and I will see you next time.